a brand new G1 style updated Optimus Prime? It really is my birthday. Now listen, I know I was extremely skeptical of this when this got leaked last year. I even talked about it in that unboxing live stream that I did. But, yeah, I like it. Yeah, 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 I, I, I like it. It's, it looks nice. Is it $90 nice? We'll figure it out. Yeah, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. This figure is $90. And that's an American money. I feel bad for the Australians. For the size of the figure, you might say that this is simply not worth $90. I mean, what does this figure do that the Earthrise one that came out five years earlier could not? Well, while we're here, dear lord. It might be kind of hard to tell on camera, but this is significantly bigger than this. And even then, I'd say th this is about half the weight. While I do like the Earthrise figure still, the budget really did hold back what could be done with the trailer. Like, I feel like you can almost fit it inside the trailer. It would have been really funny if that actually worked. But enough about the boxes, we have an actual truck to play with. Now, first thing right off the bat, this thing is significantly weightier than the original. Even for a figure this size, it's kind of impressive how heavy this is. Like, for a second there, I was- I genuinely thought, like, did they put die-cast in this beast? No, they didn't. That would have been nice. But that's just how much sheer plastic is in this thing. The red paint here doesn't match the red plastic, but it's- it's- it's fine. It's much more noticeable on camera than it is in real life. I do appreciate that all of the wheels are pinned, very nice. I do like that it does attempt the shape of an actual back of a truck. What I don't like is the waffles, that's a little much. But it's fine, we'll manage. He's got smokestacks that simply love to flop about and it's really pissing me off. Genuinely might glue those down. It's crazy how they got rid of the white stripe. The Earthwise one didn't even attempt to get rid of the stripe, they committed all the way. What, what do you want me to say? It's, it's a truck. It's a nice truck. It's got plenty of nice details. But there's only so many times I can talk about the same damn design. So why don't we talk about... This big old box. As mentioned earlier, this is significantly bigger than the Earthrise one, and as such will be a much more pain to film. It's got a lovely red Autobot symbol and gray stripe. I think maybe uh, we're missing some blue here. I could be wrong, though. I like the little circle thing. I, I, I don't know what that is, but I like it. The back doors on the trailer actually look like doors. The wheels feel much more connected to the box compared to the other one. And I love the painted taillights. Oh, what's this? Secret compartment? He's got these stupid things. That let him do that. Nice. If you open this up, you can throw one of these idiots in there. Oh, oh, oh my god, how did that... How did that happen? You can also open it up for some other fun goodies. <laughs> Waller. He is adorable, and I love him. I appreciate that he's covered in a nice coat of silver paint. Except for the bottom, what the hell. I also appreciate that he's Titan Master compatible, very nice. Off to the side you go. There's a lot of great detail on the inside. Literally, like, it's it's, gr it's great detail you get. It's kind of weird that the way Roller docks is he attaches via two tabs on the anti-aircraft gun, but he docks backwards. It's supposed to be this way. Oh, never mind. I do appreciate that there's wheel wedges so you can put other cars. Very nice. You can also store some other accessories that we will talk about later. Also, we have our lovely anti-aircraft gun, which looks stunning, by the way. Doop. As much as I liked the Earthrise one, I must admit that this one is so much nicer. It's longer, so you can do more things with it. Though he's down an arm, the other one that they did keep is significantly more articulated. 
we have a rotation here, a rotation here. We have an elbow joint, which actually goes much deeper that way than it does that way. And also we have a opening claw, which I did not expect. It's very fun. It's very nice. He can grab things and, or you can give him the limp wrist pose. <laughs> also, this thing can move, I guess. And the cockpit can open, but you can't put anything in there, so I don't know. These parts are also blast effect compatible and a pew pew pew. Okay, no more of you. Did I forget to mention that you can put them on roller because I'm stupid? Okay, robot mode. I recommend you get a good stretch in before this because we're going to be a while. Focus camera, there we go. Ooh, magic. So this is the robot mode, and after all of that, I like it. It looks amazing. It is a spitting image. Spitting! image of the G1 cartoon slash movie slash comic book. From the white legs to the blue legs, it looks great. I do wish these little triangles were yellow, but you know, you can't win them all, folks. Also, the Autobot symbol on mine is tilted. What the hell? OCD Noah is very angry. The head sculpt does seem significantly livelier than the Earthrise one, maybe because it actually has the gray in between the eyes. But I don't know, something about the sculpt is still a bit off. I'm just going to assume it's because the head is a little bit rounder than normal? I don't know, this probably looked like G1 Prime's head at some point with all the animation errors. I like the windows, they're very nice. There's a tab that's supposed to hold these in, but they still don't work. I hate- I hate these! Oh, the backpack! It's not that bad, guys, calm down. I still say that it's less egregious on this than it was on MP44. While this backpack is technically bigger, this figure is not $500. I do think his blue butt stripe sticks out a lot more than it probably should. I don't- why did they do that? Oh, sound wave, I got hemorrhoids. <laughs> I do like that they painted the lights up top, which is something they actually neglected on the Earthrise one, which is weird considering that one's going for a lot more realism than this one is. Also, the wheels are gone. That's cool. I used to be for Optimus Prime having wheels on his legs all the time, but you know, that's more stuff for me to draw, so I, I appreciate that. 
I also appreciate the amount of robo detail that they put on this beast. Like, look at all that. Look at all of that. It's not like MP44 where they go so hard into the tune stylings where to the point where it's just not interesting anymore. They do still give it some of that awesome cyber greebling that has been left over from Siege. And I, it looks great. He comes with his gun, which is kind of a hassle to get into his fingers, but when it's in there, it's in there pretty tight, except for when it isn't, but you know, it's fine. I really thought that was gonna fall out. His Ion Blaster is a lovely shade of gunmetal gray with some nice silver highlighting in the vent section. I love that a lot. It also has this tab which can make it plug into the trailer, but you can also use it to peg it into his backpack, which I think was, which I've seen some other people miss. So, you know, they would, you can do that. Also, the gun is blast effect compatible, which means it works with these two blast effects that he came with. These two are pretty much carbon copies of the ones that came with MP44, so, you know, they look like that. Um, I've never been a fan of this design of Blast Effects, I think it looks a little too cartoony. Um, and also, uh, they came warped out of the box, so, uh, I actually had to win and go in with a hairdryer to get them to look this straight, so. You know, not great. Wait a minute. Oh my god! If you open his flippin' boobies, you see a very nicely crafted uh, matrix chamber. No paint though, because you can't paint that material. And if you open up this flap, we have the matrix of leadership. Which does look identical to Earthrise Optimus' matrix of leadership, which looks identical to every other matrix of leadership. To the point where this isn't even Earthrise Optimus' Matrix, this is 86 Hot Rods. Get pranked, loser. Looks good, though. And lastly, we have his Energon Axe, which is made of the same squishy material that the uh, blast effects were made out of, which also means that it came warped. Gosh dang it. It was even more warped out of the box. This is the best I could make it before it started melting. All you gotta do is open his arm up, flip in the hand, and then you will use that 5mm peg to peg on to the axe. And when it is on, it is on there tight. You will not be knocking this thing off anytime soon. It looks pretty good, it's pretty fun. And now, we're on to posability. We've got a ball joint at the head, we can get some nice wiggly waggly movement. He can look up that far and look down that far, so you know, not at all. His arms can move out that far. We have a bicep rotation, which is pretty much unlimited. You can move the smoke sucks out of the way for posability. We have 90 degree bend at the elbows, wrist rotation, and we have three fingers that are moved at the knuckle and the uh, middle of the finger. And we also have the pointer finger. We have a forward butterfly and a backwards butterfly. But uh, for some reason on mine, the it gets stuck on this arm, so I gotta like push it down a little bit to get it to work. That is worrying. That is not moving. Why are you not moving? Cam camera, come on. That that's not. Good. Why are you not doing the thing you're meant to do? Why, why do you? What's going on here? We got a rotation at the waist, which is pretty much unlimited. If we move the skirt out of the way, he can kick up about that far. We have a over 90 degree bend at the knee. His legs can move back that far. We got a pretty nice big ankle pivot. And we got toe and heel. The posability is really good, but also strangely limited in some ways. Like, I wish the elbows went a little bit more than 90, and I wish there was more head articulation. But outside of that, it's pretty phenomenal all across the board. He has a lot of specialty joints that you won't see on many other figures, like forwards and backwards butterfly. But there's certain things, like the legs, I wish they could kick a little bit higher. And I do wish he had some sort of ab crunch. I might be asking a little much, but this figure's $90. I feel like I have the right to complain about that. You know, this is almost a hundred dollar figure. I had to hack Target's website to find it and I had to punch a kid to get, to get it. <laughs> but seriously, I, I'm really only joking. Like 
There were some trivial things here and there, but the posability on this is, it's amazing. Comparisons! S has 86 Hot Rod. Bumbly. And lastly, here he is next to Earthrise Optimus. Seeing these two next to each other is kinda trippy. You can definitely see where SS86 improved upon Earthrise, but honestly, I could totally see why people still prefer how this guy looks. Now don't get me wrong, personally I do prefer the colors, especially the colors, and the design on this figure. But, I can t still totally see why people still have this as their default prime. This figure is still perfectly good, perfectly valid, and it's still a really good Optimus Prime figure. It's just this is really, really good. <laughs> and I feel like this could have only been done with the Commander budget. Yes, Earthrise Prime was only 50 bucks and this is 90. Yes, that means that this figure is going to be a lot less accessible to younger kids. But, I feel like they only could have done this with the commander price point. This figure has an insane parts count with an insane transformation, unlike anything I've seen in recent memory. And just with the amount of sheer plastic and sheer weight in this thing, I don't think they could have done this at any other price point. Even the trailer! The trailer on this figure is amazing, it has tons of fun features, it can hold every accessory this guy comes with except for the Matrix, but you don't really need that, and honestly, it justifies itself more in my head than the Commander Rodimus's did. Like, yeah, that one was fun, but it's just a box, you can't really do anything with it. With this one, you can do so much with it. So, do I recommend this figure? Yeah, I mean, if you can find one. I mean, they're slowly popping up everywhere, but don't expect to just walk into a store and find it. I actually had to go hunting for this thing. Yes, $90 is a little pricey, but I think it is totally worth it because I'm just having so much fun right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know how to end this till all I won, I guess. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.